if that's actually going to do anything, but. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where you can usually find me making over some part of my 400 square foot apartment. I hope you noticed something new because I'm so excited about it. I'm so sorry if I do this terribly and please let me know if this gets in the way, but I do have a microphone. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me just a little bit better. Today we're going to do another one of my favorite things and that is reviewing some home tech. Now listen, for all of you plant lovers out there, I am still still planning to garden. I actually was weeding outside yesterday, but I have to say August has been kind of tough in terms of recovery, but also it has been so hot and buggy outside. So that's been destroying my spirit. The other thing that's been destroying my spirit has been these squirrels. Now I have to tell you, squirrels and I face off on the daily. It's really destroyed all of my like plants that I was excited about. So all my watermelon, my acorn squash, even some of my cucumber, the squirrels devoured. So maybe I'll make a video that's more like planning on what to do better next year because as a first year gardener, it's been a learning curve and it's been a little bit disheartening. So today we're going to still live in the spirit of plants and we're gonna look at a super cool Kickstarter item that kind of brings the outdoors in. Just having a regular terrarium is not good enough for me. I said, I have to add something, add some sense of nature into it. So I started adding lights, and I said, you know what? Just light is not enough. Let's try to make it rain. Okay, so obviously I'm someone who very much enjoys plants and tech, and these are just all of those things in one. What a little mastermind. It's also like a little bit extra, it's very dramatic, which I'm totally on board for. So terrariums as they are, are amazing and beautiful. I know there's a couple of YouTube channels that are kind of based around making these things and they're incredible. These things are very hard to do because it's supposed to be some sort of like self-sustaining ecosystem. So it's supposed to be able to thrive all by itself without you needing to do much to it. And this is taking it one step farther to make humidity into rain and really create its own sort of ecosystem. And it looks like it has some other features besides just being a terrarium. And part of that is rain. And then he started going into lights. So it's like a little Broadway show, but in a terrarium. And that one of the hardest part to do is making it rain. When designing the Smart Terra product, we really wanted to capture the essence of what the client really wanted to do. And that was a zenful, open, simple, peaceful atmosphere. What I'm thinking about for this project is a small theater. And we're thinking about bringing all of these theatrics into play. Lights in the front, lights in the back, the color of tone, sounds. This is really a little theater. That's exactly what I thought in the very beginning of this, is that it almost comes off as this is, is little theater. It's its own little dramatic moment, which is really, really cool. I like that they're really leaning into that. I have to say I'm not totally in love with the actual physical design of it. I think it would, it looks nice. I don't know if it would fit in my apartment, maybe. I probably would have preferred something that didn't quite look like a lot, like it looks almost Apple-y, which I love Apple products, but it's just, I don't know. I feel like they could have done something a little bit cooler or even simplified it further without giving it that base, you know? Cause it looks like kind of like a monitor to me, but again, it is like its own little theater. So maybe that's appropriate. And the actors are plants and we want to give them the best production possible. The actors are plants, guys. The actors are plants. Oh, I really like this. This is so clever. This, this is such a creative idea. I really like when people kind of look outside of the box and maybe I am just a nerd for plants. This is probably very much true, but I also just love the ingenuity with this just to apply those things two together. And, You'll see later on, this is this is gonna be a very popular product, I mean, amongst wealthy people, I imagine, but it is just so, it's so clever. Working through 
hundreds and hundreds of designs. Um, we went through iteration and iteration, and what we really found was that anything that caused too much obstruction to the viewing angle, to the experience that the interior environment, the natural environment was going to deliver to people, we really wanted to step away from. So what we arrived at was a really simple, really elegant, uplifted platform that really kind of puts this environment on a pedestal, and that's really what we wanted to do. One of the great things about putting all the circuits in a circuit board is that it gives us the opportunity to make a great app that's beautiful that allows us to direct all the actions of the tank. I just want to pause this to say, I really like the passion and enthusiasm that this guy is conveying to us because he's obviously very proud of his engineering and his app and he should be. This is a super cool and clever idea. And now that it's attached to an app too, I imagine, it looks like you can control a couple of different features of it. Another thing that I'll say is one of my favorite things to sleep to is, I mean, I actually am like a silent sleeper. I really like it to be quiet, unless it's like a locusts or I really like the, like a summer's night sort of chirping sound. And this kind of sounds rainforesty, but I imagine you can choose a couple of different sounds. And the concept of having in your room like a little box with all these lovely cute little plants doing their thing and then the sound of rain and then on top of it the sound of the most comforting like little bug sounds or like naturey sounds that just sounds really nice that sounds very fancy and a lovely way to sleep the opportunity to make a great app is beautiful that allows us to direct all the actions of the tank whether it's the fog or the fountain or the lights and their color. There's fog? <laughs> what? There's fog? Oh gosh, yeah, this is great. This is like, this really is a production. Bravo. Or making it rain and having special effects like lightning and thunder. These things allow us as a director through this app to design our, our setting and, and plan our day. There's lightning and thunder inside of a tiny house with tiny little plants. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, guys, this is cool. This system is by design, something that you don't have to take care of. There's minimal effort involved on your part, but you still get this beautiful, high-tech, exciting product to have on your desk. I don't think I could have this, like, I mean, it would be really cool in your living room, but I don't know if I could have it at my desk because this is something that is so, like, amazing. I guess you could set it on this relaxing setting, but I would find this so fascinating, I definitely wouldn't look away from it. So I feel like this is definitely either a centerpiece in your living room or something in your bedroom to, like, calm you down. If I had a bigger bedroom, this would be something I would be really considering. I mean, I don't know about the price point yet, but... I would be considering it. In your bedroom, wherever you like it. This is really a full life support system for these plants um, to create a full natural environment that you can bring indoors and you don't have to worry about it. So it looks like you just water it through the base of it, which makes sense if there's gonna be fog and things at the bottom. And I'm sure there's, I guess behind the light maybe, there's some piping to make the rain, but there's very low maintenance, but there is some mild amount of maintenance to do. I created Smart Terra to bring a better version of nature to everyone's home. With your support, I can begin manufacturing. Thank you for contributing to our campaign. I know it's not just me. I know this is, these are sounds that lots of people enjoy to sleep to, but going to sleep to a thunderstorm every night would be amazing. Like the ultimate cozy is having a personal thunderstorm inside of your bedroom. I mean, that's, that's incredible. This is so cool. I absolutely love this project. Let's check into the specs. Like, let's see how much this is, where it is in terms of funding and production. Okay, so it's $399. It is $399, which 
I'm actually not at all surprised about. It's $399 if you get it just with the tank, and then it's $438 if you wanna get it with some starter plants as well. Since you're choosing how much sunlight and water these plants are getting, I wonder if you can design what plants are gonna be there depending on how you wanna treat the tank or it has like a recommended type of plant that would do well in this environment but it does come with starter plants, so that's cool. This is totally selling me. It says, escape from a hectic lifestyle. 2020 is a hectic lifestyle, okay? Everyone needs a tiny thunderstorm to put them to bed at night. Imagine being able to enjoy the sound of nature while watching a sparkling water droplet dripping off of a leaf after a fresh rainfall. It sounds like even like the writer was feeling really dramatic. You can experience all of this with Smart Terra in your own home office. Enjoy a realistic sunrise or sunset scene. What? What? You can do that too? Rain and thunderstorms. <sighs> sunrise? Okay. So actually, all of a sudden, I want to like make room for this <laughs> in my bedroom because of the enjoy a re realistic sunrise or sunset scene. That's incredible. So could I time it? Like put myself asleep with a rainstorm and wake myself up with birds? What? <gasps> wow, this is cool. So it looks like it has a preset of sounds that it has available for you. It has ocean waves, rain, tropical rainforest, thunderstorm, beach soundscape, tranquility, or your own music. So maybe you can even make yourself a playlist that is the most relaxing to you or rejuvenating if you wanna like put yourself to bed and wake yourself up. Just saying. I mean, maybe it's because I've lived in the city for too long and I crave nature, <laughs> but this just sounds wonderful. So it says, Martera can turn the light into a soothing atmosphere, change the soundscape to match your selected mood, light, mode of choice. There's Aurora Borealis, there's a rainbow cycle, and then there's a color hue cycle. And Smart Terra features a maintenance-free ecosystem, an LED lighting system, the rainstorm with lighting simulation, sunset and sunrise simulations, which if you can time that, I'm, this this is this could be the new bedroom situation. I love this. Really, the only two things that I'm finding weakness in is I personally, for my preferences, don't love the actual like box aesthetic. I just it does look kind of computerish to me, and it has a very high price point. So this is something that you truly would have to invest in. But something that's kind of cool is it is fully funded, so you know you're gonna get the product, or it's much more likely for you to get the product, which is awesome. It does have an app that goes with it. You can pick how often it rains, the amount of light needed. Okay, so you can choose, you can design your plants. Uh, sunrise, sunset times, mood light mode, and soundscape. When necessary, Smart Terra will alert you to fill the water tray or add nutrients to the soil. Okay, so you also feed the plants as well. Huh. Using the app, you can get a status on what's going on in your own little ecosystem. You can learn information about your plants and their ideal environment, so you're learning as well. Oh, uh, this is really cool. I am not quite sure if the LED lights are actually plant lights, like lights that will actually help my plants survive. I do have a smaller, darker bedroom, so that's where I would keep it and I would have to consider that if the lights could sustain them themselves or if I need additional sunlight. So it, in an, a little tiny asterisk, it does say that it would require a UV lamp and food should it be in the dark. So that's good to know. This does not include a UV lamp. Uh, those aren't too expensive. You can get them on Amazon, but it's something to consider if you wanted to move this in a dark room the way that I would. So it looks like it was supposed to be released in January, 2020. So that's passed. So I wonder if people are getting it. That's something I am learning about being on these websites is you have to look at the updates and whether or not people are getting the products they bought. The last time the company updated was in August, on August 5th, so that's good. They say that the whole situation that we're all dealing with now has affected them, but it says they are still continuing to develop and manufacture. So it looks like they're gonna be sending out the final product as of now before Christmas. I don't know, I, I, this would be such a huge investment for me as someone who 
$400 is a ton of money, but if you are a rich, rich person, this would be dope for a Christmas present. Okay, well, this was a really cool project to take a peek at. I hope you liked this video. If you enjoy videos like these, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.